Quickly with 6 o'clock, Supreme Court today considering a case that could dramatically change the Internet as we all know it. So those justices heard arguments today on whether Google can be sued for its subsidiary, YouTube, recommending terrorist videos through its algorithm. So our Caroline Vandergriff is looking at exactly how this change may impact you. For decades, federal law has mostly protected websites and social media platforms from lawsuits over online content. Section 230 is sort of the foundation of the Internet. But now the Supreme Court is questioning the scope of Section 230 of the 1996 Communications Decency Act. And if the Supreme Court removes or substantially weakens or changes this foundation of the Internet as we know it, uh, it, it could affect the entire system. The case centers around the family of an American college student killed in a terrorist attack in Paris in 2015. They want to sue Google-owned YouTube for helping ISIS spread its message and attract new recruits. Certainly YouTube did not create these videos, but their algorithm did push these videos to certain people. If the Supreme Court changes what people think are kind of the rules of the road on the Internet right now and says algorithms that promote content can get you sued, that is going to be a huge transformation in the way all of these companies function. Opening platforms up to a flurry of new lawsuits could cause them to put massive restrictions on what people can post online. I would rather have the Supreme Court err on the side of freedom of speech, allowing the Internet to continue to work the way it has up to this point. It almost seems like the question of the responsibility of these platforms is a legal one, but also a philosophical one. As we try to reform it, we just need to go slow. Let's be cautious. Let's not break it on our way to trying to make it better. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. We're watching Supreme Court expected to issue a ruling on all of this by the end of June.